Let's make 40. Well, don't say it. May the fourth be with. Welcome back everyone, I am Psycho Emerald, and I guess it's May the 4th now, so I've got to talk about my top 5 favorite Star Wars The Black Series figures. But before we get into that, I have a special announcement that I wanted to make. If you're not interested, I'll have timestamps time you know, down below so you can just go ahead and skip ahead to the ranking if you're not really interested in uh, this special announcement. But the announcement is, by the time this video is up, I should finally have a new YouTube channel up. The, new, the second channel is going to be called Psycho Strikes Back. And uh, I'm gonna see how it goes. If it goes well, that's probably where most of my attention when it comes to making YouTube content is going to go. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, link should be down in the description uh, and you can go check it out. I don't know if I'll have a video out by the time this comes out. Hopefully I will. Um, but if you guys wanna go check out that channel, it's gonna be mostly talking about movies, maybe video games, pretty much whatever I feel like talking about. Video essay style videos on there. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm really looking forward to it. So if that's something you guys are interested in checking out, I would really appreciate that. But I also just wanna say thank you for sticking around with me through everything over the past four years. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning into this. And uh, yeah, let's get into ranking my top five favorite Star Wars and Black Series figures. All right, my fifth place pick is going to be the Endor Rebel Soldier. Now I'm really surprised this hasn't gotten a release in the regular mainline packaging yet. I find that kind of surprising because this is a fully new figure that they did for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think the sculpts are great, the articulation is amazing, and I love the options that they allow you to have with the, you know, the bandolier, the backpack, and the swappable faceplates to be able to have two different soldiers, essentially. So this is one of the few army builders I have two of, actually the only army builder I have two of, because of that customizability. Now I know the Hoth Rebel Soldier has more customizability. I don't really have that figure yet. And I think even if I did, I would prefer these guys because I prefer the Endor Rebel uh, look to the Hoth Rebel look. I just think it's a lot cooler. So these are figures that I really enjoy having. I really enjoy posing. They're just some of my favorites in my collection. So that's gonna come in at number five. All right, and next up is the most recently reviewed figure here on the channel. I absolutely fell in love with this figure as soon as I opened it, and that's going to be Luke Skywalker from the end of Return of the Jedi. Now, this is another one that hasn't gotten a Galaxy packaging release yet, but this one came out a little more recently than the Rebel Soldier, so, so it's not as surprising, I guess. But this figure is absolutely incredible. If you're looking for a Luke Skywalker, this is the one I would recommend if you want a Return of the Jedi Luke specifically. I think the head sculpt looks pretty great. Could look a little better, but I still think it's pretty dang great. And the outfit looks great. I, it's super simple, super sleek. The articulation is incredible because there's no, you know, out, extra outfit pieces or overlays to inhibit the movement of the arms or anything like that. It just, it looks great. It's such an iconic look. One of my favorite characters of all time. I absolutely love playing with this figure and looking at it on my shelf. So this comes in at number four. All right, and the next one is kind of two figures, but it's still an incredible one. I haven't done any sort of review for this one yet, but I, I absolutely love this figure. So my pick for number three is Luke Skywalker and Yoda from Dagobah and the Empire Strikes Back. This set is incredible. I feel like this is exactly what every Black Series figure should strive to be, is it comes with so many accessories. You know, you've got the swappable hand, as you can see on Luke right now. Um, with the force lifting or pushing hand. I absolutely love that. I think we need more stuff like that because when you go to, you know, import figures and even Marvel Legends, we've got the swappable hands that just allow for so much more um, versatility with the posing. And I absolutely think they should strive to do that a lot more in this figure is an, exa is an example of why. Also, the Yoda is incredible. I think maybe they could have made the skin tone a little lighter on Yoda and would have looked a little more accurate, but the sculpt is on point on Yoda. Good size and scale fits nicely in the backpack and they just look great together. And Yoda has two heads as well. So once again, the extra swappable accessories are something that other lines do really well. And I think Black Series would really benefit from doing it more often. And yeah, once again, the articulation is incredible on this figure. The sculpt is incredible. So this one edges out over the Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker just by a little bit. I debated on where to place those two just because they're both Luke Skywalker and I wasn't sure which one I liked more but I think I'd go with this one just because of the accessories and all the different options this figure gives you. So this one comes in at number three. All right, and my pick for the runner up, uh, my second place spot in all of the Black Series is a somewhat recent figure that I think a lot of people have been getting recently and it's a really, really great one and I'd highly recommend you guys pick it up, but you guys don't even know what it is yet. So you don't even know which one I'm talking about yet, but my pick for number two is Injarin from the Book of Boba Fett. This figure is incredible. Now I will 
preface this by saying he doesn't actually come with that rifle, but if you have a previous Mandalorian figure, you can give him the rifle and it works perfectly. It's like this figure was made to hold that rifle. So I highly recommend doing that. But this figure is like a perfect representation of Din Djarin from the Mandalorian and of course his appearance in the Book of Boba Fett. I'm a huge fan of the first two seasons of Mandalorian. So this is a character I needed a definitive representation of. And this is perfect. I absolutely love this figure. I've had a ton of fun posing it. It has a perfect sculpt. The articulation is very well integrated. It looks great. It poses great. I don't really know how much more I can say about this. Like you're looking at this figure, you can see how great it is and you can know the, the articulation is great for hitting all those Mando poses you want him to get. And he even comes with the dark saber, which is really, really awesome. And of course his pistol on his hip there. And the, the fabric cape is really, really awesome as well. So yeah, I'd highly recommend you guys pick this guy up um, because I think he's, he's probably gonna be pretty sought after. Um, pretty soon here. And if you can't get this one, there is a more recent one um, from the Mandalorian season three. Same figure, uh, just has a plastic cape for some reason. I don't know why they did that, but uh, it still would be worth getting. I absolutely love this figure. Would highly recommend you guys pick it up. All right, now I wanted to give three honorable mentions. Um, so first up we have my first ever first place pick for May the 4th. We have Han Solo from Return of the Jedi. I love this figure, pretty much the best Han Solo in the line. Um, looks a lot like Harrison Ford, got great articulation, great sculpt, iconic look, great character, gotta have it. And I also wanted to include my other, this this was my favorite for a while, and uh, then it went to number two, I think, on my first ever list. Oh, crap. Well, you know, you know how this is. But I still absolutely love this Commander Bly figure. I'm a big Revenge of the Sith fan, and this just looks like he took him straight off the screen, put him into figure form. Love this one. And of course, I wanted to mention Captain Rex because he is on the exact same body sculpt as Bly, and he's a little bit more of a fan favorite character. So those are my three honorable mentions. I also did want to mention the Imperial Stormtrooper. I didn't bring it out here, but that's a great Stormtrooper figure. And I remember last year, uh, someone mentioned that they uh, would have put that on the list. I can definitely see where you're coming from. It's just not personally my favorite. The helmet warping issues kind of bother me a little bit on that one. But other than that, great figure. So I thought I'd, thought I'd mention that. Give a shout out to whoever that was who made that comment last year. And uh, if you are watching this, which I don't know if you stuck around for a year, but <laughs> I still remember that. It's crazy that it's been a year since then. But yeah, anyway, I uh, just want to give some honorable mentions. So that's going to be it. Hey, I'm going to interrupt you for a sec because I have two terrible figures I want to mention. I... Uh, I don't think you really understand the point of the video. Hey, shut up. It's my turn. Okay, then. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker are the two greatest Star Wars characters of all time. That is not an opinion. That is an indisputable fact. And Revenge of the Sith is one of the most beloved Star Wars films ever made. And those two characters do happen to be in that movie. And uh, these figures are definitely supposed to be those two characters from that movie. And while the figures don't really look anything like the actors and the sculpt is outdated and the articulation is terrible, I still can't help but be filled with happiness every time I see these two figures on the shelf because they are my two favorite characters in Star Wars. So I felt like I should mention them in the video. But anyway, now let's move on to number- Hey, that's my thing. <sighs> okay, fine, geez. Thank you. All right, so finally, hopefully without any interruptions this time, my number one pick is going to be the Dark Trooper. This one hasn't been topped. This was my number one last year. I don't know if it ever will be topped. Um, the Dagobah Luke and the uh, Ringworld Mandalorian both came really close when I got those. I was thinking, are these better than the Dark Trooper? I don't think so. This Dark Trooper is just, it's so incredible. As soon as I saw the promo shots for it when they revealed it, I thought this looked like pretty much the best Black Series figure of all time. And when I finally got it in hand, I still feel that way, and I think I probably will for a long time unless they do something that I feel is better than this Super Battle Droids coming up. That one looks really good. I haven't got it yet. Um, so that one could possibly be it. Uh, since I'm a big prequel fan, my prequel love might make that one edge out, but this is pretty much perfect. The figure looks like you just took the Dark Trooper straight off the screen. The joints are super well integrated into the sculpt, and they are, he, the articulation is incredible. You can get him into almost any pose you want. Like if you just want a perfect action figure that can do like any pose you could possibly want, this is it. I have so much fun posing this guy on a regular basis. He's just pretty much the perfect action figure. Like, even if you don't know Star Wars, like, this is just a cool, like, robot guy with the laser gun. Like, how could you not love it? But of course, if you do know Star Wars, these guys are super awesome at the end of Mandalorian Season 2. So it's just such a cool figure to have represented so well in the collection. So this stays at number one. I guess we'll have to wait till next year to see if it gets dethroned.
All right, so that's gonna be it for my top five Star Wars The Black Series figures this year. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, go check out the new channel, Psycho Strikes Back, in the description below. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing in order to join the Knights of Mischief. As always, hope you guys found this enjoyable. I'll see you all in the next one. And may the fourth be with you. Ah!